Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this summer haul. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. So you guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you, I kind of have a little bit of everything. Um, we are officially, at least, I don't know if it's officially summer. I don't know the official start day of summer, but we are in June already, which is insane. Um, I'm still burning down on some of my floral fragrances, but as I wind down on that, I'm starting to, um, I have been picking up some summer type scents here and there so I can have them ready for the season. Um, for those of you that are seasonal burners, you can comment down below. I feel like at least for me, summer home fragrance is very short lived kind of that in-between time from like spring and fresh and florals and then you kind of jump right into fall. Yankee Candle already has some of their fall fragrances out. I will be doing a video on some of their new fall scents. I have one of the wax melts. I'm kicking myself for not grabbing the four other scents that were available so I could review them. I just wasn't thinking fall already but um a lot of people are talking about them already. I will get my hands on them. I'll be doing reviews as soon as I can. But for now, what you guys are getting is a summer video. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you all the scents that I'm gonna start burning. I have candles, I have wax, I have soaps, I have some wallflowers and sprays, I even have some diffuser oils. So I'm probably gonna wind up doing my summer switch over once I burn down on my florals, so probably in the next week or so. Um, beginning of June, mid, you know, first week or so of June, I'm switching over to my summer Citra. So I wanted to show you guys what I had and you guys can comment down below if you've used any of these or, you know, um, what ones are your favorites. So let's start with soaps. I am, I got these, gosh, they started putting out some of the summer scents and spring stuff kind of early this season. So when they had, I think they had like a $2.95 soap sale, I just stocked up on a bunch of them. That way I, I probably won't even be buying soaps until fall now, but I do have, and I don't think I did a haul on any of these. Um, I haven't been doing like Bath and Body Works hauls or Yankee hauls per se, other than my semi-annual, so I don't think I've shared these. So I got a Sunshine and Lemons and then a Kitchen Lemon. There is a difference. So the notes for Kitchen Lemon is Zesty Lemon, Sparkling Citrus, and Italian Bergamot. And then the Sunshine and Lemons, which this came out a couple years ago, and I really, really like it, is Yuzu Fruit, Grapefruit, and Sun Rays. I really like the Sunshine Lemon. It's really, really pretty, but I love a good kitchen lemon too. It's just kind of um, clean and fresh, very clean and fresh, but I love, I love Lemoncello. Do you guys remember when they used to have Lemoncello in like those big decanter bottles? To me, Kitchen Lemon is a little more flat just more of a flat lemon. I guess you could say lemon pledge. Whereas the sunshine in lemons is more of a bright effervescent-y kind of just summery fragrance. I love both, so that's what I got. I got sunshine lemon and kitchen lemon in foaming. I also grabbed another sunshine lemon just in a little bit different packaging. And I got these a long, long time ago. Um, whenever they go on sale, I try to stock up. So I'm squeezing out the very little last bit of my spring soaps until I switch over to my summer. I also got two of the, these are also when they were on sale. These are the exfoliating ones, one in Sunshine Lemon and one in Kitchen Lemon. I do like these with the exfoliants in the kitchen um, because when you're cooking or you know cleaning or anything like that, it's nice to have the exfoliating ones um, at the kitchen sink. So those all go in the kitchen. And then I'm a big fan of this fragrance. I tried to make it work two summers ago. It didn't throw for me, but I think it's so beautiful. And I was happy to see that they had it in a soap. This doesn't match my decor at all, but I love this beautiful blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Oops, I am very overlit there. Midnight Blue Citrus. I love this fragrance. Sorry. Hopefully, I don't know if that got super, super bright on your end. Um, my camera auto adjusts. It's the weirdest thing. Midnight Blue Citrus. Beautiful fragrance. The notes are Juicy Citrus, Spring Water, and Sweet Mango. I've always thought this one's really nice. And I'm a fan. Also, I almost got Bergamot Waters. 
I know some people love it, some people hate it. It's much more dry than Midnight Blue Citrus. I tried to have Midnight Blue Citrus and Bergamot Waters and Endless Weekend. The three of those um, a couple summers ago, I really loved those fragrances, but the candles just weren't throwing for me. I think I got a throw from Endless Weekend, but the other two were kind of iffy. So every summer now I just go with like a limoncello, a bright lemon, something fresh and something that I know is going to be strong. So that's it on soaps. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite summer soaps are. Now let's move on. You know what? Let me do these two little random items. I love, I love this fragrance. I was so blown away and surprised by it when I first tried it. Didn't think I would like it. I do have a review up of this from like when I first started my channel. Yankee Candle Sage and Citrus. It's a classic fragrance. It's not a zesty, bright, effervescent citrus. It's just a very warm, flat, a um, little bit of a herbaceous citrus. I have the reed diffuser oil. I rarely change out the oils in my reeds. I kind of sometimes forget I even have them. I have them on top of the fridge. I'll catch kind of wafts of it every now and then. I probably change the oil, swap the oil out maybe twice a year. Um, the one I have in there right now is I'm almost done. I had holiday lights in there and it was like, you know, more of like a perfumey scent, but it still goes with my florals a little bit. So I never got like a, you know, spring type one. I almost got blush bouquet for it, but I still had oil in it. But sage and citrus, this is so pretty. So I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to put sage and citrus in. And then of course, got the room spray. I almost got Sicilian lemon. If you guys are going to Yankee Candle, just a home fragrance room perfume disclaimer. If you guys are going to Yankee and you guys are fans of Sicilian Lemon, I really want to go to Bath and Body Works and just get a lemon cello spray um, because of this. I bought Sicilian Lemon concentrated room spray from Yankee and I sprayed the tester and it smelled kind of funky. It smelled more so like um, just the product I guess they use to kind of the canned air almost. It, it really just smelled like you were pushing out like canned air. It didn't have much of a scent, a little bit of like a, a dry chemically type fragrance. And I figured maybe because it was the tester, it was an older one because I've used Sicilian Lemon room spray before. So I got one and when I got home, I sprayed it and it smelled exactly the same. So I don't know if that batch was defective, what the deal was. So if you guys are going to Yankee to buy their room sprays, I don't know if they've had batch variances or haven't had any issues with their room sprays, if they're changing where they're being manufactured, what the deal is. I would um, give your room spray a test. And honestly, I'm gonna do it on camera right now. This one, the Sage and Citrus, it smells, it smells lighter than they have been in the past. This doesn't smell as concentrated, you guys. It doesn't smell like, um, I guess, canned air like the Sicilian lemon did, but it doesn't smell as concentrated. Comment down below. Um, I know people don't talk about like the room sprays or the room perfumes too, too much, but it was something I noticed and I wanted to share with you guys. So comment down below if you guys had any issues with that. Um, I may have to start just sticking to Bath & Body Works ones. I like to switch it up a little bit, but um, and the Bath & Body Works ones are a little bit smaller too, if I'm not mistaken. I wish I had one in front of me. 1.5 ounces. Don't know the ounces on the Bath & Body Works ones. Okay, moving right along. Speaking of Bath & Body Works, I have a little stash here of summer wallflowers. The resounding theme of literally everything I'm going to be showing you today is all like lemon and citrus, just so you know if you couldn't tell already. All right, so I got a bunch, and by a bunch I mean three, sunshine and lemon wallflowers. I also got, what is this one? I think the tag, I'm almost certain this is, I don't know why I took the top off. I think this is um, lemoncello. Yeah. This one's absolutely lemoncello. Don't know where the little topper went. I got one lemoncello. I feel like sunshine and lemons is a little more effervescent-y. And then I had to get, I had to because it's so pretty, bergamot waters. I may wind up getting a couple more of the bergamot waters. 
um, and Midnight Blue. I don't know why I didn't get Midnight Blue, but um, I think I really just wanted to smell Bergamot Waters. The notes for Bergamot Waters, comparatively to Midnight Blue, because I think the two are kind of, um, can be paired really pretty. So the notes are Sparkling Bergamot, Pristine Blue Water, and Sugared Citrus. I do think the two of these together pair really, really well. And oddly enough, I don't have any candles of those ones. I may wind up doing an exchange on one of the candles I'm going to show you here for either a Midnight Blue or a Bergamot Waters candle for Bath & Body Works. But let's keep moving right along. We're moving on to wax, and then I got some candles to show you. So not like a crazy amount of wax, but enough that when I do my orders or when I've done, you know, purchases here and there, I always grab like one or two little things for the next upcoming season. So I don't have to like do this huge, massive purchase to like restock everything um, when the new season hits. So I have some wax here. It's from various vendors. Some of these you guys may have seen in hauls and some of I don't think I've even talked about. I know I talked about this one when I did my Scentsy wax haul. This is a sugar by Scentsy. This one, the notes were, it was like cotton candy and lemonade or cotton candy in like lemon zest or something to that effect. Scentsy fans out there, you can comment down below. It smelled very light on cold. And in my review, I had said I was going to try to burn or melt it rather and do like an Instagram post or a follow-up. Haven't got around to it yet, obviously, but it smells really pretty. It smells like a cotton candy kind of lemonade type thing. Not super strong. If you guys are interested, I'll do an Instagram follow-up on this or eventually it'll make its way into my summer empties haul, but that's going to be a little bit full ways away. What else do I got? Oh, these two. I forgot about these. So when I did my original Goose Creek order, I ordered an old time lemonade and then I also ordered a lemon peel. Both really, really pretty. The old time lemonade is much more I guess Sicilian lemon-esque, lemoncello-esque, bright, zesty lemon. Really pretty. I obviously have not melted it yet. Again, with all my wax, I may wind up just doing Instagram posts or do like a um, an empties video. Lemon peel is more of a flat lemon. Almost that, almost that lemon pledge type deal. Don't know what they smell like while melting. I do like Goose Creek wax melts. I've enjoyed the ones. I haven't used many, but the ones I have used, I do enjoy. Um, to me, they're kind of on par with like Scentsy, maybe a little bit longer than um, Scentsy's longevity, but um, in, in that same realm. I have one left of this. So in the winter, like I think even before Christmas, Kringle did a huge sale on their wax melts and I bought a bunch of them for like fall, Christmas, spring, and I got one for summer and I'm finally getting to it. It's so pretty. You guys may have seen this in my Kringle haul a long time ago, lemon rind, and I'm finally getting around to um, melting it. It's really pretty. It's not as sweet and as bright as like lemon cello or Sicilian lemon, but it's not as flat as like a sparkling lemon from Yankee or like a kitchen lemon. It's kind of like a mid range. I think this would be a really pretty backdrop type scent. Look at the huge difference in the amount of wax you get. This is the only, I don't want to say gripe, but the only difference between why I would maybe buy Goose Creek above Kringle just because you get so much more product. This is Goose Creek, this is Kringle. So 2.1 ounces versus, I think this is what, like one ounce? There's no way it's not labeled on here. It's not. Anyways, much, much smaller amount. So anyhow, that's, sorry, I was trying to find the amount on there for you. That's my wax melts right there, Goose Creek and Kringle. And then of course, had to, during semi-annual sale for Yankee, I had to grab a couple Sicilian lemon tarts. I should have got more. I love Yankee Candles tarts, you guys. The longevity, the throw, they are insane. I love having my little tea light warmer. I even chunk these sometimes and um, crumble them up and put them in my other warmers as well. The um, strength in these little guys, these were on sale for a buck, so can't beat that. And that is it for wax. Now we're gonna move into candles. We are at 14 minutes here. I'm gonna try to blast through this for you guys. So I'll start with this one. So these are the ones I'm planning on burning this summer. 
if I do wind up getting more, I'll obviously do like Instagram post or review or anything. But for me, for summer fragrances, it's really going to be kind of what I have going on here. I might get some more Sicilian lemons. I might pick up a couple more lemoncellos. But um, I'm really already going to probably, you won't see reviews of most of these. There's two that I will probably do reviews on because I've either talked about them or done reviews on them already. But I have, this was sent to me from T&H um, Candle Company. They're a small candle company. They sent this to me like about a year ago or so. Um, it just wasn't seasonally what I would be burning at the time. So this is their Lime Basil Mandarin. You can see I burned down on some of it. It's very, it's a lighter scent. It's almost like an aromatherapy, very, very light fragrance. It's not going to be room filling. I do have a review up of this. Um, it's more of a spa-esque fragrance. It's really pretty. I was not expecting, when I heard lime, basil, mandarin, I was really expecting like bright, effervescent-y, citrusy. It's very much so on that kind of flat, smooth, herbaceous side with the basil. It's um, more so on the side of like Yankee Candle, Sage and Citrus type of citrus fragrance versus like um, Bath and Body Works Lemon Cello. So I'll be burning that. It's been a while since I burned it. I'll probably wind up putting this in one of my Hurricanes just because it's a lighter scent so it won't um, interact with any of the other stronger candles. So I have that one right there. I had to throw this one in the collection. I don't think I'm going to burn this one but I love it so much. If Bath and Body Works comes out with this one again, I would buy more of them because I love it so much. I don't know if they're going to or not. Do you guys remember the happy birthday? So this is the pink lemonade pound cake. Maybe they will come out with it. Um, I don't think it's out right now. I know, there's my lighting again. I know they had their sweet shop collection. I know it was like pink petal tea cake and you know a bunch of other sweetsy type scents. I don't think pink lemonade pound cake came out. It'd be really nice to see this one come back. This burns so beautifully. I do have a review up of this, but I just had to chuck this in the collection because if I had more of these, I would burn this this summer, but this is my only one. But I did want to include it because if they get more in, I will burn this. Also, I have, I'm on the fence on this one. It smells good. I burned one at Christmas time when we got when I got them for Candle Day, um, when they did Bath and Body Works did their Candle Day. <sighs> I wish it through better. I might give it a try and give it another go. If not, I'm probably gonna swap it out for like, um, probably like Lemoncello or maybe a Midnight Blue Citrus or something like that. But this is the Gelato. This one's really pretty and I got it specifically to burn in the summer. The notes are lemon candy, strawberry and raspberry puree. I love, um, I like pink lemonade pound cake like a gajillion times more. This one's a little more artificially, a little more creamy, but I do get the lemon and like just that sweet sugared raspberry scent. I may give gelato another try. Maybe this one will throw for me. If not, I'll probably wind up swapping it out, but this one I'm going to be burning this summer as well. And I already went over that one. I got one more Bath and Body Works one, sugared lemon zest absolutely love this one. I remember when this came out like three years ago, four years ago, um, and it was the first time I had burned this one. I had always loved Lemoncello, but it didn't always throw for me as strong as I liked. And then they came out with Sugared Lemon Zest and I kind of fell in love with it. The one thing I don't have in this collection is a Lemoncello, oddly enough. Um, but if that gelato doesn't work out, I'll probably wind up swapping it out for one of those. So that's Sugared Lemon Zest. And for those of you who don't know, I think I have a review up of this, but the notes are Bright Lemon Zest, Sorrento Lemons, and Cane Sugar. I think those are the notes on Lemoncello, if I'm not mistaken. To me, they burn a little bit differently. Lemoncello is a little more smooth where this is a little more bright. So it might just be a little bit of a difference in the formulations um, or like the rations that they use for each scent. I just posted a review up of this. This is Goose Creek. This is their citrus and, I almost said sage, I'm sorry, lemon and olive leaf. 
I'm thinking Yankee Lemon and Olive Leaf from Goose Creek. This is in the same scent family as like Yankee Candle, Sage and Citrus. It's not a bright, effervescent citrus scent. It's more of a smooth, warm, kind of muted um, citrus scent with like a little bit of herbaceous type um, fragrance going on. Not the strongest scent, but it threw more than I was expecting. Really pretty kitchen scent. I do have a full review up of this if you're interested. I got two more for you. I have one more Goose Creek, actually. So this is the Goose Creek large jar. These are their dual wicks. I do have a review up of this one. This was one of my first ever Goose Creek purchases along with Fresh Cut Roses was another one I got. I have since burned down on that. I have a review up. Um, if Goose Creek was more accessible and I didn't have to send this back via mail, I know they do returns. I'm sure they would gladly exchange it out for me. Um, I didn't care for this one. When I did the test run on it, it just had a vinegary note to me. I'm going to give it a try. We're going to burn it again this summer and we'll see how it goes. If I, if, if I can't make it work, I might wind up swapping it out. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. I'll see if it'll be good to layer maybe some other scents in with it to kind of counter that vinegary note. So we'll see. So that is Goose Creek um, Lemon Vanilla Cake Batter. I know a lot of people like this one, so I'm not knocking it if you like it. I typically love a good like citrus, lemon, and gourmand bakery type note, but this one for whatever reason, maybe I got, maybe I got a wonky one. Last, but certainly not least, Meyer Lemon from Yankee Candle. I'm so glad they brought this one back. This is one of the first candles I've ever reviewed on my channel. I think I had Vanilla Cupcake from Yankee and then I wound up getting Meyer Lemon and Sparkling Lemon from Yankee Candle from TJ Maxx. And those were my first two like citrus candle reviews. Between the two, I loved Meyer Lemon much, much more. So um, I don't know if Yankee still has their $10 jars going on right now. They may have, well, they were 10 and then there was the 20% off coupon. I don't think they're going to come out to eight bucks anymore. I should have got another one, but I will probably wind up grabbing one more Meyer lemon before the summer is over. So that's Meyer lemon right there. And if you guys want, I can do a review on this one, but I'm almost certain. I believe I do have a dual review up of Meyer lemon and sparkling lemon on my channel. It's one of my first, first videos. So and you guys, that is it. Um, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these. Let me know which ones are your favorites and what you guys plan to be burning or melting or just using home fragrance wise this summer. You guys, before I sign off, I want to let you know I am on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. You guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for sitting with me for 22 minutes. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.